Good morning, Cheetahs. Welcome to the South Greenville Cheetah Spot. This is Mrs. Tutter with your morning announcements. Today is Tuesday, May 17th, 2016. Again, today is Tuesday, May 17th, 2016. Today is our 165th day in school. We've been in school for 165 days. So that leaves us with how many days of school left? You guessed it, 15 days of school left. Please stand while we say the Pledge of Allegiance. Place your right hand over your heart and recite the pledge with me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thanks, cheetahs. You may be seated. After you've made it to your seat, we're going to pause for a moment of silence. All right, teachers, now it's time for a uniform check. Boys' shirts need to be tucked in at all times. Shirt colors are white, navy blue, black, gold, or yellow. Pants, shorts, and skirts should be khaki, black, or navy blue. Shoes should be tied at all times. No coats or hoodies are allowed in the building unless you have a uniform form approved sweater or jacket, which has no hoodie and no logo. At this time, we're going to review our South Greenville Elementary expectations for PBIS. Number one, repeat after me. I will be prepared. Number two, I will always be respectful. Number three, I will work hard. And number four, I will be safe. Remember, these are our pause expectations and you are expected to meet these daily. All right, now it's time for Tedder's test taking tips for this week. Don't forget to underline, highlight, and circle your keywords. And again, same as last week, take your time. All too much to see people rushing through taking tests. And this is any test or assessment or anything a teacher asks you to do. Even if it's going to the bathroom and washing your hands. I see people rushing to do that. And who wants to walk around with germy bathroom hands? Gross. Take your time and make sure you follow through with each step of what you should be doing. And this one's from last week too, to read the whole question. Read the whole question. Make sure you know what the question's asking you to do because you've read the whole question. I promise you, it will help. So back up to where I said to underline, highlight, and circle keywords. Well, before you can do that, you must know what keywords are. So, some keywords in math problems are in all, all together, how many are left, things like that. Things y'all have been working on all year. You can't get to the tests at the end of the year and freeze and forget what the questions are asking. Especially when your teachers ask you to do a, ca a task, and especially in K2, when you guys are doing your math assessments. If they ask you to do something with blocks and to count them, or to do the number trains. Don't freeze up and forget what they're asking. Think about what they're asking and review those keywords ahead of time so you know what the question is asking. Also, mark out your distractors. A lot of times when you have four answers choices for a question, two of the answer choices are distractors, which means they definitely can't be the answer because they're just off-the-wall answers that don't make any sense as a good choice of an answer to the question. Not always, but most of the time. And that's it for Tedder's Test Taking Tips for this week. Stay tuned for next week for more Tedder's Test Taking Tips. Thanks, cheetahs.